As science advances, it has become increasingly important to examine various materials such as inorganic and biological materials on the atomic and electronic levels. In order to study atomic structures, however, it is necessary to use light that has a wavelength shorter than an atom. The wavelengths of visible light are much longer than an atom. Therefore, atoms cannot be seen with visible light. Ultraviolet light has a wavelength shorter than visible light, and X-ray wavelengths are even shorter. In order to observe atomic and electronic structures using a small amount of material, extremely bright light beams in the X-ray region are necessary. Spring 8 generates these bright light beams with short wavelengths, which allows scientific research to be performed in various fields at the atomic and electronic levels. The synchrotron radiation produced at Spring 8 is used for many different research purposes. Synchrotron radiation is emitted when an electron traveling near the speed of light is deflected by a magnetic field in a so-called bending magnet. The emission occurs tangential to the electron orbit and is highly directional and polarized. In order to enhance brightness, the electron beam is focused to the extremely small size of 0.8 millimeters in width and 0.01 millimeters in height. Now, let's compare synchrotron radiation produced at spring 8 with other light beams. Due to its emission in the same direction from small size electron beams, synchrotron radiation in the X-ray region has brightness far greater than sunlight in the visible region. Furthermore, forcing the electron orbit to wiggle using a periodic magnetic field produced by an array of magnets called an undulator, even brighter X-ray beams can be obtained. Using these undulators, Spring 8 produces X-ray beams 1 billion to 10 billion times brighter than those from conventional X-ray tubes. At spring 8, electrons generated by an electron gun are accelerated to 1 jev by a linear accelerator. Next, the electrons are further accelerated by a circular accelerator called a synchrotron to 8 jev, after which they are injected into a storage ring. The electron beam in the storage ring continues to travel around the ring at almost the speed of light while emitting synchrotron radiation each time it is bent by the bending magnets and undulators. The 8 in spring 8 refers to the H of energy that is achieved. Synchrotron radiation produced in this way is transported through beam lines to hutches in the experimental hall. The experimental hutches are equipped with various measuring apparatus. One captures images formed by the transmission of synchrotron radiation through a sample. Another measures the amount of radiation absorbed into a sample. A third apparatus analyzes radiation that is scattered or diffracted from a sample. An additional apparatus measures fluorescent X-rays emitted from an irradiated sample. Yet another detects photoelectrons emitted from a sample. Various other apparatus are installed in the experimental hutches. 
Thanks to the powerful synchrotron radiation and the many analytical apparatus available at Spring 8, a wide variety of data can now be acquired at the atomic and electronic levels.